I was a pastor's kid growing up, and I became a pastor myself and spent a lot of time in church ministry. And then I was in the army for a long time, and I was an enlisted soldier and an officer, and then I finished up as a chaplain. And my uh, wife is from Wyoming, and we live in Utah, and I have four kids, three boys and a girl. We adopted a little girl from China last year. And what we're doing right now in this, this phase of our life is trying to tell the stories of the Bible in a way that is transmedia driven, that engages all ages and uh, men in particular with the uh, scriptures. I was telling stories from the Bible to whether it was youth group kids or soldiers that I was ministering to, and I realized that they engaged in it when I would stick with the narratives, when I would tell the stories of the Bible in story form. So I would try to bring it to life for them. One day, uh, years ago, started typing things out and realized, okay, I think I can string some paragraphs together. I'd always been a reader and decided that, okay, we'll make a go of this thing and to, to create these, these stories based around biblical characters for a generation to encounter. I, um, yeah, I, I saw the effect that that could have on both teenagers and, and older folks too. This series is about the biblical characters, Joshua and Caleb, primarily Caleb and their journey from the exodus from Egypt all the way through the conquest of the promised land in Canaan. And so it tells the story of how this, particularly this one character, Caleb, ages well. And that's not a very glamorous topic to talk about because we have a culture that worships youth and beauty. And, but, but I think there's a real message. And Caleb at one point in the scriptures says, I'm 85 years old today and I'm just as strong as I've ever been. And he's, he's making the point that he doesn't want to retire and go softly into the sunset. He wants to keep taking the fight to evil all the way to his, to his grave. And so I was really inspired by, by that. So taking his life and making a trilogy of it, so the years in Egypt, the years wandering in the desert, and then the years in the Holy Land, kind of uh, conquering cities, wanted to bring that to life like a Braveheart gladiator kind of story. What, what I hope people realize is that in a series like this where you have Caleb, he's, his life is going to bear battle scars all the way till he's dead. And, and I hope that men can see that and resonate with it, be inspired by it, and realize it's not all cupcakes and sunshine all the time. These are, we, we have a real enemy and there's real evil and it's costly to do battle. And I hope that, uh, hope that when people read this, they will see an accurate portrayal of, of the heart and soul of a man who has made his lifetime of war.